you can never just kind of say, well, okay, this is, this is as much as I can do. Everyone looks to you to sort of get in and actually do the nuts and bolts work with it. I am a psychologist, a mom, a referee. Footage that falls short in some major way. You must never give up. You must find a solution. Don't ever do that Gennaro bullshit again. No more deals like that. You hear what I'm saying? What am I talking about? Look at that. 168 pounds. So uh, this is a scene from Raging Bull, which was the hardest scene I've ever had to cut. Uh, and I'll explain why. Uh, Scorsese suggested to the two actors that when they did the scene, they use as a basis the way his agent describes to him his deals in Hollywood. <laughs> because he can, he can never get all of it straight in his head, you know, the, the points and the percentages, and it bores him. And uh, so he keeps saying to the agent, tell me again, tell me again. So that was just the suggestion he gave to the two of them. My job as an editor was to take the brilliant improvisation between De Niro and Pesci, but all shot first for two hours on De Niro and then for two hours on Pesci and try and make it seem like a scene. And it was extremely difficult. The material was unbelievably rich. These are the two greatest improvisers in the world. They spark each other off and they're fearless. They have to, Scorsese always tells them, they have to start a certain place and they have to end a certain place but anything goes in between. Oh, you're supposed to be a manager. You're supposed to know what you're doing. I did just what I wanted to do. That's what I'm worried about. You did it. You I want a title shot? What are you talking? You want a title what shot? Is, what am I in? What, what am I in? A circus over here? I asked him. He's got more sense about this. What are you, you doing? You've been killing yourself for three years now, right? There's nobody left for you to fight. Everybody's afraid to fight you. Okay. Along comes this kid, Gennaro. He don't know any better. He's a young kid, up and coming, and fight anybody. Good. You fight him. Bust this hole. Tear him apart. Right? What are you worried about? What's the biggest thing you got to worry about? The I'm weight. about the weight. You worried about the weight? What are we arguing about for? I just said the weight. Okay, let's say you lose because of your weight. Are they going to think you're not as tough as you were? You're not the same fighter? Good. They'll match with all those guys that were afraid to match you with before. What happens? You'll kill them. And they gotta give you a title shot. Bring me coffee, please. Now, this is about improvisation and the difficulties of cutting improvisation sometimes. Um, Scorsese never shoots an improvisation scene unless he has two cameras. And the camera has to be locked down. You can't have any camera moving. It makes it too difficult for, for the editor. But in this case, he wanted to shoot in the actual uh, apartment where Jake LaMotta had lived in a house, actually, in the Bronx. And that house did not, the kitchen of that house did not allow for two cameras. So it created an, an enormous problem for me. Excuse me, excuse me, what do you mean good look? With only one of these cameras, it was on each, it was uh, really hard. And um, I was glad that I'd had a lot of documentary experience because that's what documentary editors in some cases get a lot of raw material and they have to try and make a story and a structure and, and drama out of it. Um, notice at the very end that um, Joe Pesci's wife felt she wanted to improvise a little, so she dared to open her mouth. And um, it gave Pesci a wonderful opportunity to show more of the brutal characteristic of these two husbands, which is that they treat their wives terribly. Uh, and notice how he, he takes the opportunity. There's a wonderful quiet moment, because nobody expected her to open her mouth. And uh, there's a wonderful reaction by Joe Pesci. She didn't mean nothing. Who asked you? You just start with me now? When people are talking, you don't interrupt. It's none of your business. Especially if it's my brother and his wife. It got nothing to do with you. Now get out of here. Go inside. Get out. Take the baby inside. Sleep the grass, see, okay? Even Scorsese gave up on this one and walked out, and uh, I just kept plugging away at it until I got it. But what rich material I'm working with, I'm very lucky. It's just plugging away at it, and that's part of your job as an editor. It can be patience is one of the most important things in editing, I think. Um, and you just have to keep trying until you get there. Mm -hmm.